Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have been in the biggest makeup kick lately. If you guys saw my get ready with me that I filmed a couple weeks ago when I went to a Flyers game with Gretchen, you saw like how excited I was about getting all these new products. Well, I don't know, like the makeup bug has bit me and I am so into all of these new products that are being released and dropped. There are so many new products out there and I am really excited to show you guys some of the products that I just picked up from Sephora and also show you guys um, how I like to use these products and kind of like my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, this is like a tried and true makeup routine. I also went out this past weekend um, down at the beach and this was the makeup look that I did down there as well. And so many of you guys comment on Instagram like, oh my God, I love your look. So I wanted to film it for you guys and show you all the products that I use. So I actually use this for every day and going out because I just feel like it's really, really pretty and you can bump it up with like the coverage if you wanted to go out, you can like lessen it down with whatever. I'll explain it on the video, but you can like really make this like a going out or an everyday look depending on the products that you use. First of all, I wanna thank Sephora for working with me in this video and sponsoring this video. I can't believe little MacUp 101 that used to literally save all of her money and go buy Sephora products is now being sponsored by Sephora. I mean, this is like truly a full circle moment, like 10 years in the making. I'll show you guys all the products that I picked out from Sephora, but if you're not a part of the Sephora Beauty Insiders program, there's literally never been a better time to sign up. Like seriously, these products are hot, hot off the press. There's three levels of the Sephora Beauty Insiders program. If you haven't already signed up to be a Sephora Beauty Insider, I will leave the link down below to sign up for the Sephora Beauty Insider program. Along with that, I'm gonna also have every single product that I show you guys in a minute and that I also use in the video linked down below and you can use the code free ship at checkout to get free shipping you're welcome okay so let me show you guys what i got um i got so many new products that i'm so excited to talk about okay so the first thing that i picked up was the kosas revealer skin improving foundation with broad spectrum 25 spf i am so excited about this because it's literally called clean makeup for skincare freaks I have been on a huge skincare grind lately, so this is something that I am so excited to try. Speaking of skincare, I also picked up the Herbivore Nova 15% Vitamin C and Turmeric Brightening Serum. I'm a huge vitamin C freak. I literally use it every single morning. It's probably my favorite part of my skincare routine just because I love the feeling of it. I love the smell of it, as weird as that might sound. But I'm always looking um, for my favorite vitamin C out there. I've tried so many brands. Okay, this I'm so excited about. This is my first Rare Beauty product ever. Um, this is the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick by Rare Beauty. And I got it in the shade Power Boost. I am so excited to try this. My first Rare Beauty product ever. I've heard such amazing things. The next thing I got was the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. I'm really excited about this one because I need a new mascara. And two, because I saw Brooke and Danielle literally go on a helicopter ride for the PR of this mascara. So really good PR and milk makeup's part because it got me interested. I picked up the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. And I got this one in the shade She's Blushing. This is hot. I think this is gonna be a hot take product and I think I'm going to be obsessed with this because I feel like a lot of times when I don't wanna do cream or powder blush and a lot of my currants that I already have in my collection like don't really match one another, but this is a cream and powder blush. So they are meant to go together and I just think these shades are so beautiful. Then I was also just perusing on the website and found some other stuff that I've been really wanting to try. The first of which is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Oh my God, I've literally been seeing this everywhere. If it's as good as everyone says, I think I'm going to absolutely adore it in the summertime. I'll definitely try this out in another video, but this is one that I'm super excited to try. And another foundation I've been eyeing for the longest time that I've just never bought was the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Everyone and their mother talks about this foundation. Um, I got the shade 5.75 because I assumed I will be tan. Well, anytime I like wear heavier foundation like this, it's normally for like an event, going out, like something that I've been planning for. So I'll normally self tan before. Like right now I have a spray tan on, but not on my face. I'm also super into lip glosses. So I got a Patrick Ta lip gloss in the shade pouty 
This, I think it's gonna be hot. I'm definitely gonna use this today. Pretty much everything in this haul I think is hot. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look, it has like sparkle in it. So freaking pretty. I also got the Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. This reminds me of like a grown up version of the Anastasia highlighting palette that we all had. Um, like growing up. I love Natasha Denona. I have her bronze eye palette and I absolutely adore it So I figured I would really like her Cheek palette and last but not least a product that I've literally been eyeing up forever is the Tatcha dewy skin cream. This is beautiful I have been wanting to try this moisturizer for so so long today is really fun because it's raining outside It's a Tuesday. It's like the most Monday Tuesday ever and I just feel like this is such, like, girl's day. Like, I just love sitting down with you guys, doing my makeup, talking with you guys. I just, I really have a lot of fun doing this. And I love that you guys enjoy it because, I don't know, it just feels like I have friends here to, like, do my makeup with. So I hope this just kind of feels like we're on FaceTime together, trying out new products. Let's get started. I wanted to film this video this past weekend when I went out. Um, at the beach, but honestly, it was like such a mess when I was getting ready. I was like, thank God the people didn't have to see that. That would have just been a mess. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is just moisturize my lips. This is um, Summer Friday's Lip Balm, which I recently picked up on my Sephora order before this one. And I am obsessed with it. I'm very picky with lip products, specifically like chapsticks and stuff. But this one is really, really nice. I already did my skincare a little bit this morning, but I wanted to do a little bit more on camera. And I also just think makeup always looks so much better when you do like a skin prep underneath of it. So I'm gonna use the Herbivore Nova 15% Vitamin C and Turmeric Brightening Serum. Looks like this. Oh, it feels so good. Oh my God, it really does smell like turmeric. Okay, so compared to the Summer Fridays Vitamin C Serum, which I'm currently, oh no, I'm not using Summer Fridays, I'm using Paula's Choice which I really like. So that one is much like, much more like what you would expect a serum to be. This is like a little thicker, which is cool. Not what I was expecting, but totally smells like turmeric. Okay, then I'm gonna take my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Oh my God. Oh my God, so worth the wait. Oh, it smells amazing. I literally feel like I'm at a spa. I also look like I rub my face a lot harder than I actually do. I promise it's not as like tough as it looks on camera. Let's move on to foundations. So when it comes to my everyday versus like a nighttime routine, honestly, like the eyes, cheeks are all pretty similar. What changes for me is my skin, whether I'm doing like a full coverage or a light coverage or a medium coverage. So if I was doing a light coverage, I'd go in with the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with the Broad Spectrum SPF 25. I'm actually going to take the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is a super hot product right now at Sephora. So I'm going to leave it in the description box down below for you guys to try. I'll link this, but I'll also link this too if you guys want a good daytime foundation. But this is super, super hot right now. I'm literally seeing this everywhere. I'm going in with a beauty blender. It doesn't look clean on camera, but I promise it is. So I'm just going to, why do I want bounce? I kept wanting to say pound, which is not the right word. I'm just going to bounce this into the skin. I hope this just feels like we're on FaceTime, just like getting ready together. Normally I would do like I'd have housewives on in the background, but I just feel really, really chatty today. Maybe it's because I've been like alone all day. So I just feel like talking to people. Oh, another really good tip before doing your makeup is to put on like glow drops before your makeup. I really like, you can either put it in like mix it with SPF in before you put on your foundation or you can mix it in even with your foundation. I really like the Drunk Elephant anti-pollution drops. They're just like bronzing drops and they do a really, really great job. Just kind of like bronzing up your look overall. And I feel like the color match is a little light just because my spray tan that I got is so dark but we can darken that up, no problem. Then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Power Boost. I, along with like everyone else, love a good cream bronzer. This is my first time using this one. Another one that I really like that I just recently picked up from Sephora is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in Amber. This one's really nice, but so far, this one is looking 
really, really nice. And it's a really pretty color match to my skin. And it looks like it's going to blend out beautifully. Nice and creamy. And something that I also like doing is bringing this onto my lid and in here. And I'll put some right underneath my jaw. And I'm just going to blend this in. I will link some brushes down below for you guys that I recommend to use. Like I'll link like the bronzer and then the brushes. But as you guys can see, this is blending out absolutely beautifully. It is totally seamless. The application was incredibly, incredibly smooth. This is gorgeous. Oh my god, this is really, really pretty. And you can see immediately how much warmth it just brought back into my skin. This is really, really nice. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just sort of blend that in. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of concealer. Um, lately, I've been really loving the Kosas Concealer. Super creamy and brightening concealer. This is in the shade 5.5. So this concealer, I don't need a ton of. So I really just kind of put it like down the sides of my nose to carve out where I put the cream bronzer. Drag that in. A little bit here for that lifted effect. A little bit down the nose in between the brows and I'm just gonna do a little bit right here on the nose and one on the chin and then I'm just gonna stipple this out again I will link brushes down below for you guys I used to put my concealer on my lid as well but because the makeup looks that I've been doing lately just really are bronzer highlight and blush on my eyes as well as like my face I don't put my concealer up on my lids for this kind of look. So there we have it. And then I like to go in with my beauty blender and just really combine everything so it looks super seamless. I like to go in with an under eye powder. It kind of alternates what I'm in the mood for that day. Today I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla. But I also really like the Pat McGrath Labs um, under eye setting powder. I have the shade medium, so I'm going to take that loose powder and just set it right underneath my eyes, and that's just really going to brighten everything up, and I also set my eyelids with this powder. Really anywhere that I put concealer, I have pretty normal to dry skin. I'd say it's more normal than anything, like I don't really have insane dry patches or anything like that. So I just like to put this where I know I get creasing, like smile lines and pretty much anywhere that I just put um concealer because i do like powder bronzer which will pretty much set everything else and then i'm going to go in with a dry beauty blender you guys can tell that i use this one all the time for baking and i'm just dipping that right into the powder i'm just putting this right underneath my cream contour and this will really rise the face raise the face raise the face and just really chisels out your cheekbones. So the bronzer that I've been using lately is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in number two. I really, really like this stuff. So I put this bronzer pretty much everywhere that we already put the cream bronzer. This is one to set it and two just to kind of amplify the pigment a little bit more, lock everything in place and make it look very natural purposeful and it just looks really 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 pretty i also run this down the sides of my nose and i will go in with like a blending eye brush and make like my crease and stuff more defined and then i'm going to go in with a blending brush i'll link one below and i'm going to run this down the sides of my nose and i also put this in my crease and underneath my eyes. Another tip that I've learned recently that I really like is to put your bronzer right here and then it just makes your nose look a lot smaller. Okay, so don't let the bronzer go far because we're gonna use it in a second. I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona um, Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette and I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush like this and I'm gonna take this dark gold that's in the corner and this, we are just going to put this on the temples of the face. Gorge. It's just going to make it look super sun-kissed. A little 
little little bit on my cheeks i'm literally talking microscopic but it's gonna look so good go back in with your regular brush and just sort of buff this together and then i'm gonna go in with a smaller shading brush the same gold and now we're just gonna put this on our eyes this is game changer and it is so beautiful on the face and on the eyes and this is like honestly what I do when I stick to the basics I always like how my makeup turns out when I tend to go like a little crazy for me and experiment it's always like hit or miss like am I gonna like it or am I gonna hate it but I always know that I feel my best when it's products that I know I love and when it's a look that I know I really like and I wear every day because obviously my everyday makeup is one that I feel really confident in. So when I'm doing this like for a night out, I try and keep it as similar to my night out makeup as possible. I really like to play up my eyes, especially now that I dyed my hair brunette. I really like to play up my eyes. So then I just go back in with my blending brush and I blend this all together, blend it out, make it look super soft and kind of just like blown out. And like you can see just how crazy that makes my eyes look. So now this is kind of where I jump around a little bit and it doesn't always make sense, but just bear with me here. Um, I just filled in my brows real quick with the Anastasia brow pencil. I'm going to go in and play up my eyes a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this light shade here, the lightest one in the palette. And this is going to go right here on my inner corner. I literally never leave the house without doing this. If I have any stitch of makeup on my face, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to have an inner corner highlight. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the 2014 beauty guru in me, but like this has never left my system. And what's really cool about this one is that it's a cream product. So it's going to last all day and it's going to look super natural and super luminous and almost just like it's meant to be there. That's kind of like the secret, especially in the summertime. I love using um, cream illuminators right underneath my brow. I'm also just gonna go in with the Super Glow Nude. It's like this color right here. And I'm just gonna take that and just pop that on the center of my lids as well. Just adding like an eye highlight in the center of your lids just looks so beautiful. It really opens up the eyes, makes them look so awake. And of course, just blend to keep everything super, super soft. Now we're going to move back down to the cheeks. So I'm using the Patrick Ta for face. This is the double take cream powder blush in the shade She's Blushing. So I think I'm going to try for a little bit of a ombre blush. I've been seeing it all over Instagram, so I want to try it today. So I'm going to take the cream blush. I like to start my blush back here. Look at how seamlessly this is blending in to my contour and like, or I guess my bronzer. And that's like everything that I look for. So I'm going to focus this pretty much on the back half of my cheeks so that I can get that ombre looks where it's like darker back here and then it fades into like this really pretty light on the apples. So I'm going to hit this on both sides and this comes with a really beautiful mirror. I'm going to take a blush brush and I'm going to go in with the powder blush and I'm going to do the same thing by patting this over top back here and just very lightly stippling it down onto my apples. And then I just like to go back in and just keep everything nice and soft by blending. And you don't need as much powder because we just put a cream down so it already is going to have a lot of pigment. But this, even the powder, feels so creamy. And so soft, so smooth. This is really, really luxurious. So you can see that I'm really concentrating a lot of the product back here so that it blends into the bronzer. And it will kind of naturally, seamlessly just fade towards my apples. I'm going to go with the Fenty Beauty. This is a new product that I also just picked up. It's not new to everyone else, but it's new to me. Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. And I just like to, these are technically highlighters, but I use it as blush as well. So I'm just going to mix these two together. And I just pop this on the apples of my cheeks. And I bring it back as well, but it's really meant to be focused like pretty much on the apples. And this is what I mean. Like this mixed with this is 
Like, you'll just look like you're smiling all day or all night long. I love this. And then I also just put that on my nose. And then because of this, I don't need a highlighter. Okay, so now for my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is for the eyes. I love this palette. It is my go-to. I'm going to take the shade right here. It's called Deep Dive. It's just like a dark uh, eyeshadow. You can use brown, black, purple, whatever you want right here. And what I like to do with this eyeshadow is go underneath my lash line on the outer corner and just press that in and then it's also fun just to smudge it ever so slightly on your upper lash line all right now i'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara if i was adding in lashes i would do that now my favorite way to do lashes is to cut them in half and just put the outer corners of each lash on the outer corners of my eye so this is the milk makeup rise mascara really cool because it's in like this rubber packaging wasn't expecting it but also like i said great pr because i literally saw this on um brooke and danielle's story when they went in a helicopter ride over new york and i was like oh it made me remember the mascara so oh the wand is like a little curved interesting okay let's go in so off the bat this is a nice mascara um i like to tend to focus my mascaras on the outer corner and dragging it to the outer corner and then never missing the inner corner because that really rounds out the eye yeah i really love that all right mascara gets an a in my book now i'm just gonna wipe away this bake this is the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner. And I'm not crazy with lip liner. I don't like, I'm not out here like redefining my lips. Like I don't do anything crazy. I feel like I have pretty good lips naturally. Like they're kind of covered with foundation right now. But I just sort of go in and enhance them. I'm honestly probably the only person you'll hear that says like I don't overline my lips. Just because every time I do overline my lips, I hate how it makes my teeth look. Which is how I know I don't think I'll ever want lip injections. Because my two front teeth, I feel like are already like kind of long as it is. When I make my lips look bigger, my teeth look so much longer. And I don't want that. So I just follow my natural and ever so lightly fill in my lips. I feel like this liner matches my natural lips pretty well. And then I'm going to use the Patrick Ta lip gloss in Pouty. Light pinks and clear lip glosses will always have my heart. I don't care what the trends are. I am a lip gloss girl through and through. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is hot. This is hot. It smells good. I love the applicator. This is hot. And this is the makeup that I did last weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chatty makeup tutorial slash get ready with me slash first impression slash haul moment that we did. Again, I want to thank Sephora for sponsoring this video. It is such a dream to work with a brand that I love and adore and I've shopped at for years and years and years. This is so humbling for me. It's so full circle. And I hope you guys try out some of the products that I listed and that I used in today's video. Like I said in the beginning, there are so many hot products coming out that I feel like if you guys are part of the Sephora Beauty Insiders program, you'll always be on top of the trends. So yeah, it's totally worth it to sign up. I'm going to leave a link down below for everything. Again, use the code free ship for free shipping on your order that you guys get from Sephora.com. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.